Okay, get that one. Well, thank you again, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Ranking Member Camp, and other members uh, for having us today. Uh, as you uh, debate and resolve um, some of the financing issues uh, to keep our aviation system on the go and grow, um, as Mr. Oberstar said, that uh, we had reached an agreement um, uh, several years ago that this is kind of shameful that I think we're now approaching, uh, two, we're going to approach two years without an FAA reauthorization. September 2008, we haven't had an administrator. Um, not, it's not our responsibility. The, uh, as you know, the new majority in the Senate has failed to uh, act uh, uh, in approval of either our bill or a new administrator leaving the country, I think, uh, and FAA at risk. Um, Mr. Oberstar, Ms. myself, Mr. Costell, majority, minority, had agreed on uh, the proposal we're bringing forward to you. I might say, and this is, isn't a problem for the minority as much as it may be a problem for the majority, and I'm waiting for clarification, the Obama budget, uh, and we only have, uh, I have page 129, um, table S6 I'll refer to. It says the budget proposes repealing some aviation excise taxes and uh, replacing those taxes with direct user fees. Now, we fought that battle, uh, and uh, I um, was involved in some of that, but uh, until we see the details today or tomorrow, I think I don't know what the administration is proposing. But Mr. Oberster and I uh, uh, again uh, propose what we brought forth uh, two years ago, and I'll be anxious to see what the administration comes up with. Uh, whatever it is, we need it to be fair and equitable. Uh, we need to finance uh, our next uh, generation air traffic control system and keep that on target. Uh, the past administration did an excellent job in that. They've, uh, they've awarded the ground station element. Uh, they've kept uh, the uh, next gen on track. And uh, now we need to make certain that we move forward. It's estimated that'll cost about a billion dollars a year. Uh, or more for the next uh, 18 years, and, and I think that we have uh, authorized enough funds for that. Uh, finally, I do have a couple of concerns. I, they may not be in your jurisdiction, um, but I, I will cite them for consideration of your committee. There is an air traffic controller provision in this. Um, you do, we do authorize enough money, uh, and it probably costs the federal government in the neighborhood of a billion dollars to settle a pending contract with air traffic controllers, and that does need to be settled. However, the implications may move across the entire spectrum, not only of FAA and DOT, but the federal government for when we give that kind of uh, reach back and pay uh, increase to air traffic controllers, which comprise 15,000 of our 20,000, we leave uh, 20,000 FAA uh, high professionals uh, and technical expertise left behind when it comes to pay increases, not to mention hundreds of thousands of other federal, deserving federal employees uh, who w will be uh, unfairly uh, disadvantaged by uh, that particular provision. We also have the question of repair stations and ways and means. I don't know if you get into this, but there may be implications on the international scene if we leave in this uh, mm -hmm. bill uh, some of the provisions that we have. I would expect um, retaliatory action by foreign uh, governments uh, because this does, in fact, violate uh, critical bilateral agreements. And finally, uh, Airline Alliance, uh, a new provision, Airline Alliance antitrust immunity provisions included, uh, which completely bypass the committee process. And this uh, pr particular provision terminates existing Airline Alliance antitrust immunity exemptions, which are already subject to lengthy federal review. So some of these issues will cause a great heartburn uh, this latest one uh, w that I mentioned was, was added, and I don't think part of the original submission uh, several years ago. So uh, with those concerns, uh, again, um, uh, I want to thank you for hearing us, and we look forward to working in a bipartisan manner to resolve the, the pending issues.